hapa tuko na matatizo yaliyotukumba ya eh, pandemic ya covid-19 tukapata tena matatizo ya vita kule Ukraine na Russia tukapata tena na matatizo makubwa ya climate change kwa mfano Kenya mwaka uliopita eh, magala yetu eh, tulikosa karibu Um, magunia elfu kumi eh, milioni kumi sorry karibu magunia milioni kumi ya chakula hayakupatikana kwa sababu ya mvua ambayo haikutosha na ni lazima tufikirie mbinu kama serikali ni vipi tutashughulikia tatizo hili tukiwa na changamoto za climate change kukosekana kwa mvua kuchelewa kwa mvua na mambo kama haya na vile vile kukosekana kwa mbolea ambazo tunatumia na ni vile tutashirikiana kuondoa kwa mfano um, yale matatizo tuko nayo ya mipaka vizuizi katika mipaka yetu ambayo yanazuia chakula kutoka Rwanda kwenda Kenya, kutoka Tanzania kwenda Uganda na e, changamoto kama hizo. Na ndio sababu tuwe na maelewano kama yale tumeelewana hapa Rwanda ya uhusiano kati ya mataifa zetu ndio tuweze e, kusaidiana pale panapotokea changamoto kama ile ya matatizo ya njaa kawaida kwa sababu sisi ni nchi za demokrasia kuna watu ambao wanachukua changamoto kama hizo na kuzibadilisha zikawa ni mambo ya siasa e, kama nafikiri umekuwa kufuatilia huko Kenya kuna watu siku hizi wanavaa kofia juu ya kichwa wanavaa sufuria <laughs> na nimejaribu kuwauliza hii ni hii ni mbinu gani ya kuzalisha chakula ukiweka sufuria juu ya kichwa sijui itasaidia kwa njia gani kuzalisha chakula na kuondoa njaa lakini ndio ndio hali vile wewe mwenyewe ulivyosema ndio hali ya mambo um, again to uh, maybe uh, speak to uh, the issue raised about open skies i think president kagame has responded to you very well it is not a matter of if it is a matter of when we will have a the reality of connecting our airlines and possibly even having one regional airline that will connect our capitals our 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 nations and to be able to provide easy movement of people ideas goods services that's really where we are heading especially as president said in the context of africa continental free trade area that is where we are all going the challenge we have in our region and in our continent is that of connectivity we've made the first step to improve connectivity in communication that's why we have one area network with rwanda it is our belief that the other uh, east african countries will come along 